Hello everyone, Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel, Tune Into Love. So grateful that you're joining me. I was tuning in for the collective and it's so interesting, right before I turned on the camera, some police cars went by with their sirens and ambulance and this message came through right before that. So we have all tied up anxiety and cornucopia. So if you're feeling a bit stuck right now, if you're feeling some anxiety and stress, this message is most likely for you. So thank you for tuning in. Your wishes, your dreams, your desires are being fulfilled right now. And there is an energy of feeling stuck or tied up and it's creating some stress and anxiety. Things that are maybe feel beyond your control. Maybe you're waiting for a contract to be signed. Maybe you're waiting for a phone call. Maybe you feel stuck like you wanna move or there's a relationship you're waiting to, for some sort of resolution. So this is, this message is coming through, I feel, as just reassurance and guidance for you um, and what to focus on right now. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos if this message resonates with you. Always follow your intuition. Um, these messages are timeless and they're truly meant for whoever is meant to receive them. So if you feel intuitively guided here, welcome. And thank you for allowing me the opportunity to tune in, please do connect with me if you enjoy this message over on my social media accounts and my Patreon, where I do offer messages every few days um, or more, you know, and also my behind the scenes creative projects over there. So I love to see you guys over there and let's just get into the reading. I'm feeling the, um, I'm feeling the stress that the situation is creating for you. So I feel like this is a beautiful, um, moment for you to feel some relief and some comfort as to what's going on here because you're not alone you may feel alone in this situation um spirit your guides your soul your heart is really letting you know that all your wishes are being fulfilled at this time everything's unfolding behind the scenes and so it's really important for you to stay focused on that to feel that abundant cornucopia energy um, there's a storm out here outside the window and it's like moving away. It's, you know, she's safe inside and this, you know, this energy, it's a number 23. So five, there's change. I, I do love seeing the fives come through as a two and a three, even the, even the number 18, there's this energy here of new beginnings and strength and one and 11, you know, it's like new beginnings, co-creating with your authentic self in the universe. There's more fire trucks going by. So there's definitely an energy of, you know, concern, stress, anxiety, agitation that's happening in our collective right now. So being aware of that and how it affects you, you may be very empathic, very intuitive, very in tune with your feelings. So you're feeling um, more than just your own energy. However, it is connected to your energy. So it's a good time to look at within your life, you know, how you choose to tune into the energy of abundance and cornucopia and thriving and well-being, um, so that you're not allowing yourself to go into these states where you feel so much anxiety, you know, you feel paralyzed or stuck. There is other ways you can focus. And as you do that, your energy then, you know, to be connected to the cornucopia, to the abundance, um, knowing this is temporary and it will pass, okay? Your, your spirit team and guides are working for you behind the scenes in big ways so that you don't have to experience this energy anymore, feeling stuck or lingering. It's like there's something else, there's other third party situations or people involved and it's like you're waiting on something. And so if we can or if you can try to focus on you know us as humans we we feel these things for a reason they cause anxiety for a reason and that's why we you know it's like we respond to it versus reacting when we're in love when we're in um authentic alignment with our own true selves so i'm gonna tune into the tarot here mm. So we have the fool, not my deck. So it is definitely a new beginning. Trust the unknown, trust the universe right now. There's clarity here. There's a breakthrough coming for you. So when you allow yourself to feel into your wishes fulfilled, which they are, they're manifesting. I'm sorry, you guys, hold on one moment. 
Okay, it's that energy of things happening, you know, where you feel like you have no control over it. However, it's not anything you need to have control over. So the more you focus on feeling, you know, feeling the cornucopia, feeling the path that you're on, feeling this temporary situation as temporary as change, there's like a breakthrough in your mind and the clarity of how you're thinking trusting the unknown, really embracing it, seeing yourself as this beautiful, infinite being and moving into the next evolved stage of your life. You know, we have the Empress here, nurture all that you love, nurture yourself, nurture your dreams, nurture your hopes and not your fears, right? Nurturing. It's like, there's a very stoic energy here where you can be still and silent. Maybe, um, instead of feeling anxiety, it, go into meditation, you know, go for a walk, take a bath, whatever it is that calms you or soothes your body, your mind, your spirit, it's really going to solidify this energy of you just being able to effortlessly embody the Empress energy, which is nurturing all that you love and, and the environment around you can feel that energy. So you'll attract naturally to you what you need when you need it. Um, Self-care right now is really being emphasized, which is really important. Um, it will really relieve and you'll find a lot of relief and comfort in that. And there'll be some like epiphanies and breakthroughs that come through for you, okay? Lovers, look at this, authenticity, truly being your authentic self, attracting love, pure sacred love in all the many forms because of your choice to be authentic, which when we are growing through this phase in our lives where we're releasing and letting go of all that's no longer truly, you know, in alignment with us moving forward. <laughs> it can set off alarms or signals, you know, within us or within other people, like there's change, what's going on? Why is she, why is she or he changing all of a sudden? Why am I changing all of a sudden? Maybe it's not all of a sudden for you, right? This has been something that you've been manifesting and aligning to for quite some time. So know that it's just like right around the corner. You are so in alignment. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a part of our, you know, our growth and our, you know, are we ready to truly receive what it is we want? And with that comes, you know, this appreciation and gratitude. So, you know, I feel like this is very much a part of our growth evolution journey as being human and it's, you know, we love deeply. So we want everything to just flow and, and we truly get to know who we are authentically when we face or are involved or experiencing any sort of, you know, energies of change or chaos or disagreement or waiting or, you know, just not feeling authentically aligned. So this is a strengthening and a fortifying of your own heart and soul of your spirit, of your, of your, you know, mental clarity. This is mental mastery. This is mastery in your physical world. It's one step at a time. The universe always guides us. Our soul guides us, you know, slow and steady, one step at a time. It encourages us to embrace being a novice, you know, letting go of needing to know everything and trusting that everything you need to know will be revealed to you moment by moment as you need to know it, which allows you to let go of thinking about things too much. The universe is doing the thinking for you. The universe is aligning you. And this is about really getting in tune with your body. There's a brand new beginning here. Um, Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So there's a brand new inspired path here. There's brand new, just clarity of thought, epiphanies, newly inspired ideas that help you, you know, begin to strategize in a way that is aligned authentically, where you'll be receiving the inspired ideas. You'll be receiving the inspired action through your thoughts and you'll be able to then see how you implement. You'd be able to feel, you know, by choosing your authenticity, it's a choice that you're making to align with your true self, your path, those that you're meant to be in this life with. And it's like uh, this cornucopia energy of abundance and see how it's like, it's like in the forest, the sun shining through it's, it's, it's abundant. There's, you know, you've been doing the work, you've been going within, you've been healing you you haven't shied away from your own feelings you know you acknowledge that you're feeling stuck and anxiety and stress however it's it's in your willingness to acknowledge and and learn and grow that you're able to move through this this is all temporary energy preparing you for truly feeling the gratitude embracing receiving the cornucopia the harvest you know reaping the seeds that you've sown 
which have been so rooted in love, obviously, so beautifully rooted in love. <laughs> okay, so allow your fears to disappear, so to speak, by getting into your body. And it is a challenging energy, however, you can do it. It is worth it. And I feel like there's so much guidance here. There's even energy here for, with the Knight of Pentacles, it's, it's the slow and steady every day, one step at a time, knowing that you're guided. Um, you have your boundaries clearly in place. There's nothing that's going to distract you from your path. Like your focus, you have your eye on the prize, you know, you know what this feeling is. And so you are guided. You may be receiving um, inspired action ideas and how to implement more of your finances here soon. Like there is this energy of once you're feeling this, you know, just reminding yourself, there's ideas that allow you to stay focused in a very physical way that are inspiring, that feel responsible. You feel the confidence in yourself and they support your income, your foundation, allowing you the freedom, you know, to truly embrace this path that you're on. It, it's, it's a process. Okay. So let's, let's get one from the energy Oracle here. I'm just going to pull a card. I know it's a little loud when I shuffle. Hopefully have some new equipment soon for you guys. <laughs> Action, okay? Action. So this is this is signaling that it's time to take action. So there's there's this energy again here with the number 8, 1 and 7. Okay, spirits leading the way. Here you are just following spirit one step at a time. It is a time of movement, so this period of feeling stuck or held up or held back or just not knowing what to do is passing spirits in action guiding you to take action only that which is in alignment with your energy of abundance cornucopia your authenticity your your nurturing energy whatever feels nurturing to you um, inspired where you feel really clear there's no thought to it it just feels right you're going to feel that very strongly. There's no deception when it comes to your true soul energy. You know when your soul's guiding you. And when it's not necessarily your authentic soul energy that's calling you forward, that's when we feel stuck or tied up. And it's like you're coming out of this phase. You're, you're leaving behind this energy or transforming your energy into a new, expanded, aligned, abundant, beautifully attractive life. Okay, And you want to be able to share it with those that you appreciate and appreciate you and it's mutual and loving and kind and you know everyone has quality of, of love to offer each other it's it's equal it's beneficial equal give and receive it's mutually just it's yourself no thought to it you know so this is really beautiful <laughs> I'm gonna pull one here from the divination of the ancients Maybe see what you can do right now to tune in more for yourself, you know, learning ways of divining with nature or with your environment or with your feelings that can affirm to yourself that you're on the right path. Especially during times when we feel anxiety or stress, it helps quite a bit. Look at this dice gamble. So there's something here as well with money. You know, don't be afraid to embrace money or receiving more money. Um, and don't be fooled, you know, there's this energy here of, of, um, feeling like you may have to do, you know, in order to receive money, there's some sort of catch, like it's some sort of gamble. However, I feel like right here, you're being guided to really embrace your true sacred energy, your life force energy, and trust that when you receive money, as you're moving into this money, because it's coming into your life, whether it's money or, um, home or, you know, new things like there's there's this energy of abundance whatever you've been focused on um it's like you're going to know authentically when when to take action when it comes to money or finances it's like if there's any sort of energy with gambling or like lottery tickets or any of that i feel like that energy is is kind of dissipating where you're you're being shown how you can receive the abundance through doing what you love, right? Through being, through following yourself, there's new inspired ideas here that are also very um, abundant and as far as attracting money and wealth and supporting yourself and others. So there's no reason for you to 
engage with any sort of gambling type energy or, you know, there's, it's like, is this too good to be true? Those sorts of questions are what I'm hearing right now. So let me, I want to see what this says. I'm feeling a few different things. So take what resonates. Okay. Because I know this message is for many of you. It could be pertain to different areas or even someone, you know, um, that, you know, has you in this situation. However, I feel like this is more about staying true to your own authenticity, your own comfort zone. Like you don't need to necessarily do something that makes you uncomfortable to, to make money or feel supported or to create something that's in alignment with your soul, with source, with life. I feel like you're being guided to align with something that doesn't feel like a gamble. It just feels like a sure thing, right? Like, you know, so it says, should you stay or should you go? This is what you've been wondering of late. You want to throw in the towel, but if you do, are you running away from your responsibilities? Perhaps you should preserve and carry on. It might get better, but what if it doesn't? If a situation is not serving you as it should, if are not being, if you are not being appreciated, then surely it is time to leave. However, as you have put in so much time and energy, it may be a mistake to leave before you reap the rewards. You can stay in the warmth of your current comfort zone or gamble it away on a leap into the unknown, which might eventually lead you to adventures that will fulfill your soul dreams and desires. Only you can decide whether or not to take a risk. Time to roll the dice. If I leave, the stakes are high, a chance to live, to soar and fly. And if I stay, what would I do? To what I know I would be true. I love this, okay? So this is really guiding you to allow yourself some time, you know, to really feel what is right for you, whatever situation it's like, you're really being encouraged. It's serving as a catalyst to truly align you to your path. There's someone here that you're attracting into your reality. That is like your perfect match. So you're being guided to move forward, to really focus on comfort. It's like moving out of your uncomfortable zone into your comfort zone. And you're going to feel the difference. It's supposed to feel good. You're supposed to feel you know, free of anxiety and worry and stress and, and be enjoying, you know, your life, however that is for you. So I feel like that's what you're really being encouraged to do. Take a leap of faith, you know, embrace the unknown. And only, you know what that means. That could just mean in your own consciousness, your own, um, choice to begin truly nurturing your authenticity and taking action only when it guides you, right? It could be, for some of you, a completely new life, you know, you're moving into a new relationship, you're leaving something behind. However, it's, it's like when you know what you need to, like when you feel it, the clarity comes through and the anxiety, the feeling of stuck, it, it begins to dissipate. So you're really, it's like you're being shown and taught when to take action, what is inspiring for you versus what isn't, what is authentic and, and to nurture, you know, it's really, showing you by feeling by through your own experience, you know, how you embody this beautiful energy of life force and love and how it's effortless to nurture yourself and what you love when you can feel the difference. And so there's some contrast happening here. However, it's like you're being guided. So it, even if it feels like a risk, it doesn't right when you when it feels right in your body and your heart and when it aligns with what you know to be true for yourself, it's like you're ready to take that leap of faith. So this is all about knowing that when, you know, it's, it's like, it will just feel so effortless. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like there's a little fear and anxiety here over embracing the unknown and really, you know, going your own way and kind of breaking free of old programs and, you know, conditions or just society norms, breaking free of the mainstream, the matrix sort of energy. Right. And, you know, that's really what is required is full trust in your own soul guidance. And so our soul, when once it recognizes we're ready for that, it, it guides us little by little by little. And, you know, anytime we're feeling stuck, it's actually for our own benefit so that we can be completely sure before we take any action because we don't want to continue taking action, you know, towards things that we, we are trying to, you know, grow from or 
that you know we don't want to experience anymore we want to take action steps only that is in alignment with our authentic energy so instead of worrying instead of being in our head you're really being guided to focus on what you want even a vision board would be really great right now allowing yourself to see the physical manifestation at least in vision form of the lifestyle that you're living in the future um, that's going to connect your consciousness to the right places to focus um, anything you can do to visualize your abundance right now like how you want to feel the activities that you're engaging in in the future are you traveling are you home are you decorating your house are you gardening are you hanging out by the lake are you reading a book are you writing a book you know are you doing yoga meditation or are you just you know chilling in your swimming pool are you working online you know it's like all of these little things that you can focus on right now that you're manifesting instead of giving your power to anything that's you know it's like you're growing you're growing through all of this and this is sucking your power it's like it's it's like you can feel the drain versus the nourishment right so if it feels draining just remind yourself okay that's my cue to to focus on what i what i am manifesting what is actually unfolding for me because this is no longer unfolding for you okay so let's get a wisdom of avalon card here I, I just, I'm just feeling too, I, I'm, I'm seeing like a lottery ticket. Like if, if, if you go in and buy a lottery ticket, just because, you know, you feel guided and, and it's for, you know, the fun of being in abundant, you know, alignment with abundance versus going in and like hoping that you win and feeling desperate because you need the money. It's like you can play, you know, you don't have to feel like you're gambling or doing anything risky. It's like a little bit here, a little bit there, just being in this energy of abundance where you have all the money you need in that in terms of your mindset you know and being resourceful like not buying something just because it's something you've always done but instead you know seeing the freedom and where you invest your time and energy your money like how you tune into abundance the purpose behind it that sort of thing so this is really wonderful and refining your sense of you know truly enjoying money and truly enjoying the responsibility of it it's like it, it allows you to let go of all the worries and concerns there's an education and refinement here happening for you look at this the swan transformation trusting the psychic gifts okay so your psychic gifts your intuitive gifts your ability to really connect in with your own soul unconditional love um, the resources that are you know there for you it's like i've provided like that your soul is providing all these resources for you so allow yourself this period of time and see yourself as like this transforming beautiful human soul that is growing and evolving and trust your own psychic gifts that are being revealed to you especially when we experience these that's when our psychic gifts are really developed that's when we really become aware of them because that's the the strength the energy that allows us to connect in with our soul to connect in with the resources the the energies that support our well-being and so there's this transformation happening. So trust the process and, you know, nurture yourself through it because we go through some, you know, what we feel are dark things and, and they're personal and we don't always feel like we're, you know, showing up in the world as our best self or showing up at all during this time. You know, it's like when I was feeling anxiety and like this in the past, I didn't want anyone to see me that way. Right. And it's not that we don't want anyone to see us. We literally you know the 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 feeling is so intense we just need to be inside and nurturing ourselves and taking care of ourselves and sometimes we need to cry or we worry or we stress out and so it's like this is all a part of just releasing and surrendering the old and embracing the new you know embracing the life force allowing whatever feels dead or heavy inside of you to be nurtured appreciate it you know be grateful for the lessons that it taught you it's a time to you know transformation is about learning you know why is this showing up for me why did I experience this what is it that I need to learn from this experience and when you choose to learn from it and you can perceive it objectively instead of you know allowing the emotional or the personal experience it's like you can see yourself and the situation as an observer and be grateful you know it's like really choosing to be grateful for the lessons so that you don't have to repeat the mistakes you know when we choose to learn we grow and there's it's no longer a mistake it's now 
we're very aware that we don't want to engage in that type of behavior or energy or situation anymore. So moving forward, automatically you feel a natural confidence or peace with knowing that you won't attract anything into your life anymore that you don't want. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, it's like, then there's that fear, right? Of the new beginning. And it's just learning how to trust yourself. Like you're really learning how to trust yourself, your psychic gifts, how they serve you, how they truly, um, help you open up and connect you to the consciousness that's that's you. So this is really beautiful, okay? And I do feel um, business ideas that you're implementing right now that you're really being supported in, okay? So just know that this is a sure thing, like you're going to reach the, the destination on this part of your journey, <laughs> whatever that is and you will receive the abundance and the cornucopia that you feel otherwise you wouldn't be feeling it that's what's giving you the anxiety you're just you're maybe not seeing it right now in the physical reality <clears throat> the universe moves a lot slower than we like to sometimes for really important things and once we master this type of patient energy then everything always feels like it's right on time so this is a very normal feeling as we're growing and evolving so no you're not alone this is so beautiful to see though because it's you know it's all a part of the journey and it teaches us so much about our own self okay so wash away your burdens number 48 there's emotional release here and it's a positive you know it's not like crying all day or whatever it's more like there are moments where you have clarity and insight and then you feel the gratitude right and it's almost like your tears are sacred tears and you only need to cry for just a moment or you might feel it and not even cry but it's like you're as you as you allow yourself it's like your emotions become pure you know it's like cleaning out it's like you're purifying the, the empress here there's this energy of purity of of just being very clear in your in your path in your authenticity there's a lover here a new beginning very passionate a lot of passionate inspired romantic energy very sweet you know like a picnic in the forest and the cheese and the wine and the grapes and the snacks and the birds and the butterflies it's all so simple and yet the quality of energy is so pure and you know luscious it's like it's like life force energy everything is you know really comforting you in this energy of you know, transformation is a, it's, it's not always as pretty as we feel we're moving into. We, we know we're moving into the pretty always every day of all. It's like, there's this very significant life changing event that's happening for you. Okay. And it's just, it's very soft and gentle at the same time. So that's how, you know, you're right where you're supposed to be. Love without condition, number 26. I feel like there's a lot of new interesting characters and people and consciousness that you're becoming aware of and connecting with. So it's like the opportunity to love without condition, to love yourself unconditionally. And by doing that, you know, you truly can love anyone and, and get along with anyone and learn about new things and have new experiences. You see people for who they are because you can see yourself for who you are. That's a part of this transformation. And we're all different and we're all unique and we're all, you know, beautiful and wild and weird at the same time, right? So there's this energy here where the universe is like, I love you without condition. And I love that you are who you are. And, you know, you may be very fond of nature and artistic type of energies or decorating yourself. And, you know, you have your own unique style and grace and, that's what puts the smile on your face, right? It's like, this is just temporary and was meant to, you know, free you, right? Free you from any sort of self-imposed thoughts that were rooted in fear or beliefs or, you know, just unaware consciousness. It's like, you are, you, you should be very proud of yourself, very proud of yourself because it's not, it's not so simple as it sounds. And yet it is, you know, when we truly get there, <laughs> life is never simple, although we like to feel it that way, don't we? So it is, and it isn't, <laughs> excuse me, be in service. Okay. So I, I feel as well too. It's like, there's, there's such a contrasting here of you, fully embracing your authentic self, your life, your happiness, and seeing how being in service, you know, these ideas, these divinely guided ideas of business and, 
you know, co-creating with others in humanity and creating more, you know, it's like responsibility and being trustworthy and being grateful to be able to play your part and contribute in a way that isn't of service and still it's so enjoyable, you know, it's like she's connecting with this sweet little seahorse here and it's love, you know, and yet it's nurturing to both energies. It's nurturing to the ocean. It's nurturing to everything. So I feel like you've really found this, um, energy of acceptance of yourself and beauty and how, you know, you can, it's like, you're feeling it. There's, you're in service, you know, spirits leading the way. And I can feel how it brings you such a contentment and joy to know that, you know, this is all meant to be and that you can do what you love and also receive, you know, the life that you're meant to experience and experience it to the fullest. And it, it translates, you know, it transforms other beings. It, it's like, you're just adding, adding, adding to the life force, the love force, heightening your vitality. So that's, you know, I feel like this right here, heightening your vitality is this, you know, understanding of how we are the ones that choose to tune into the love and we can truly be guided and evolve through anything. You know, we can learn anything and we learn how powerful we are. We learn about our psychic gifts. We go within and we recognize how, what powerful co-creators we are. And, and it's fun and enjoyable and we become more youthful and alive and we embrace learning and growing and also feel, you know, the, the confidence and reassurance of being, you know, an adult, like capable, sovereign being who's, you know, supporting themselves and also others, you know, it, it through just simply through being who you are and taking care of yourself. It's like, there's this reflection that people are inspired by you and there's a wonderful partner here that is, you know, it's like, there's a beautiful attraction. <laughs> it's wonderful. Very complimentary, very complimentary. So let's see what Earth Magic wants to say. Lotus flower unfoldment. The spiritual journey is an unfoldment. It's a process. Trust the process. It's just continually unfolding our entire lives. I feel like also, you know, this energy will really allow you to let go of time constraints or time limits. You're in the energy of freedom and just forever unfolding, you know, being able to be present in your journey, being able to be present with those you love or, you know, with the, your environment or whatever projects you're working on, whatever animals or plants or children or creative endeavors that you're involved with. It's like you're able to be present, traveling, whatever it is. And everything you do is a spiritual um everything you do is, is your spiritual path. You know, it's, it's very similar. Like the temple path card in this deck is what I'm feeling. It's like there, you know, your, your journey is a sacred journey. Everything you do is your soul expressing and it's all sacred. You're in alignment. Everything you do is of service. You're one of those magical healer people who just, your presence alone is healing. You know, your presence alone heightens the vitality of those around you, the plants, the animals, and you may feel like you're, you know, different or the same. However, there's like this feeling of, you know, loving without condition, recognizing that we're all different. And we're all the same at the same time, <laughs> but we are, we are so different, you know, that being in alignment with your authenticity allows you to be connected, you know, in a way that is resonant with whomever you're around. And and it benefits and complements and serves in such a wonderful way. It's effortless. No matter what obstacles or challenges, you're always guided. You're always in tune and it's exciting. You know, you may be called to service, you know, in terms of like your soul connects you to somebody or puts someone on your path, you know, that you just say hello to, or they see, and there's this energy reciprocated. So, this is really, really beautiful, <laughs> really beautiful. Don't worry about any anxiety that you're feeling as much as just acknowledging it, honoring your feelings, and then, you know, doing what you know to nurture that energy. It's simply an energy that's asking for some nurturing and some love and some transforming. I like to see us, you know, I envision myself transforming energies as opposed to blocking. I don't believe in blocking energies or cutting things out because energy never disappears necessarily. It just transforms or changes state, changes its state, right? So if there's an energy of fear or hesitation or feeling stuck, 
it's like, what can I do to nurture this energy? Okay, is am I stuck? Is the truth a, that I'm stuck? No. Okay, so this energy just needs some nurturing. What does this energy want to do? Want to go have us some pizza? Want to go for a walk in nature? Okay, let's do it. It's like you're being guided to nurture, nurture, nurture yourself through your own experience. You can nurture these energies and, and experience the benefit of them. Okay. So you can go have some pizza <laughs> or ice cream cone, or, you know, it's like, it's so funny when I come in here and come in here into this room, this space with all of you, because you know, we're so spiritual and in tune with the earth. And yet it's like the spirit guides are always like, it's okay to be human. Go have some ice cream. Go ahead and buy a lottery ticket. This is a part of the human experience. And it's not, it's like, we're not necessarily like that, but it's like, don't allow yourself to miss out on things just because, you know, someone else or some other situation has caused this anxiety or you feel whatever. It's like, there's, there's always, the universe is playful. Our spirit guides are playful and fun. You know, when my kids are feeling a little bit blue, we like to just go get a scoop of ice cream and then everyone's happy. Everyone gets to choose their flavor. It's so nostalgic and, and simple. And we just sit there and smile and eat our ice cream or go to the park. You know, it's like we can do, we can do simple things that are so significant. And I feel like you're just really in tune with that. It's like reassuring you that, you know, thank you for being calm and peaceful and choosing to nurture yourself and inspire others to do the same. Okay. Follow your heart, St. Francis, okay? Follow your heart. It is your compass. It is your guide. It is what aligns you with your cornucopia, your abundant harvest, your heart feeling so overflowingly, you know, unfolding that being of service is a natural effect. It's a natural byproduct of truly being in alignment with your heart, your soul, the universe okay i feel like this is a big gateway for you to it's like the doors are opening you know and it's okay you know it's like there's been some realizations here and epiphanies that will will never be able to hold you back again okay and just uh, just remind yourself that it's slow and steady it's a process trust the process one day at a time you know do your best to focus on what makes what creates the feeling of responsibility in your life, you know, feeling organized. Um, don't be afraid of making phone calls or taking action towards, you know, business ideas or putting yourself out there or just sharing in whatever way. Um, because that is that in its in itself will give you this feeling of stability in your foundation, knowing that no matter what moving forward, you know, you are secure you're safe you're abundant and in it's self-created in a sense however it's co-creative right with spirit with others in your reality so you are someone who you know truly feels your heart your soul you connect with animals i can feel that whether you're aware of it or not there's this energy here with the birds and peace it could be signs and synchronicities um, little animals just uh, appearing to you throughout random times just for your you know it's like your soul you know it's it's showing you you're on the path and it's it's when you when you really embody this energy you have this healing presence to you and life can feel it okay so follow your heart when your heart is open that's how you're you know it expands so much more than our minds and that's what connects you to whatever it is that you're attracting okay so your heart energy is is truly what is it's what you need to focus on right now and nurture, you know, your own, your own heart. One more from the Ascended Masters. Stay focused. <laughs> Kathumi, okay. Keep your eye on the prize. You know, see your cornucopia. Envision it, feel it, get into the feeling of it. The emotions I feel like you're going to, you're going to feel are gratitude. It's like when your heart just is like, Oh, you're just, you know, and you get like, you almost going to cry, but you don't, that's how you're going to know. And it's just like, it's a, it's a beautiful feeling, you know, it helps you really let go of any sort of past feelings of anxiety or stress or fear, knowing that it was all a part of what allows you to truly be grateful and you know, really attract what you want into your life. It's really so beautiful. So stay focused. Okay. Stay focused on what's really, truly important to you. And let's get a creative question to just let, allow you to ruminate on <laughs> for the next day, couple days, or maybe just today. 
How do I feel when I know I am a gift? Why am I a gift? How have I changed from thinking I'm a burden to knowing that I'm valuable? You are a gift, okay? You are a gift. You are so beautiful. I can feel your energy. You are received by others as a gift. You are a brush, breath of fresh air. You are a welcome presence. You are someone who, you know, someone wants to hug. You know, when they see you, they know when they see you that everything is going to be trustworthy and right. And they don't have to worry about, you know, the details. They know you got it covered. You're responsible. You're the person that, you know, they feel reassured in your presence. Okay. So know that you're a gift. You're moving into that energy where you'll be received that way, where you'll feel that way. And the people that you meet, you're going to feel that way too, like the three of cups. You know, it's this energy of celebration and like minds and sharing in our accomplishments and our successes and, you know, just our playtime, you know, just hanging out, sharing similar hobbies or ideas or talking friendship. You know, there's, there's this energy of being appreciated and knowing what a gift you are in someone's life and how, you know, they are in yours. Okay. It's also abundant and beautiful moving, moving away from, you know, again, any sort of limiting thoughts. It's like you're released yourself from this you know, prisons that we all, it's the spirit says it's self-imposed prison. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, okay, judgment is here. Look at the ace of pentacles, you know? So we recognize that we have the power to create our own and manifest our own reality. And so it is very empowering. It's one of those, you know, self-initiated, so being self-responsible, being an adult and not beating ourselves up over it recognizing it's a part of the process and there's so much wisdom with that your heart is attracting that you're going to feel more intuitive you're going to feel more instinctive like it's just going to feel so effortless so effortless i do see a lot of income here being presented to you i see more ideas and this is true alignment you know with your authenticity and being recognized by your soul the universe is like you got the energy we love to create with here so a lot of really beautiful, wonderful energy that's unfolding for you, okay? So stay true to your heart, focus on nourishing your heart, your soul, your relationships, your lifestyle, having, you know, vision, I'm seeing vision boards and things. So however that re relates to you, however it resonates for you, thank you all so much for tuning in. I truly hope this message just affirmed what you know to be true for yourself. Always follow your intuition. And please do connect with me on social media. Um, those links are down below. Thank you guys for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. And please connect with me on Patreon. I'd love to um, include you in the messages over there. And I'm sharing all my behind the scenes stuff. Well, not all of it, but you know, things that I'm creating <laughs> and messages every couple of days. So I would be honored um, to see you over there. And otherwise, beautiful heart and souls, thank you again for being you. And um, I look forward to the next messages that come through for all of us. Take very good extra care of yourself as always. And I will see you again very soon. All my infinite love. Peace.